Hey, today I want to tell you about my all-time favorite instrument I own. It's also the oldest instrument I have, and it's this 1975 Rhodes Mark I. Super excited to take off the top. There's a couple keys that have been going out, and so I'm going to show you how to tune it, how to fix the tone and pitch of the instrument. So let's take a look. stuff off we can finally open it up you can see this beautiful instrument so all of these guys basically correspond to how barky or how light the notes are so based on how you tighten or loosen these things is gonna affect that the issue is that it's a harmonic instrument so all these guys play against each other so when one tightens or loosens it affects the sound of the other one so I'm gonna try to fix this B right here and make it a little bit more barky like the other notes around it so I literally just loosened it slightly, and you can see that B already is so much fuller. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. You can hear it's kind of making a little tink sound. So behind there, you see all those little um, swirly doos. How you move or lower those is what's affecting the actual pitch of the instrument. And sometimes you get it too close, and that when it is when it ends up making a little tink sound because actually literally touching it. It's supposed to be really close, but not actually touching it. Um, so we're going to probably mess around with the whole instrument and tune it up a little bit, but the next thing we want to do is fix this C that's stuck. And so what's making it happen is all these little cushiony pillow things. Again, I don't know any technical terms, so just making them up as I go. Um, all those guys are what stop it. And so what's happening is this one's kind of worn out where it's not touching it quick enough or really at all to actually stop the sound. That's why it's being sustained. So I fixed it before, I'm gonna get under here now, can actually lift this thing up and then fix it. So you see the C, see the C? Um, it is stopped now, it's no longer sustaining, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, all I did really again was just puff up the stopper here. Where you go, there you go. Cause now it's actually stopping, before it wasn't stopping it. So again, this happened before it fixed and then it kind of lost its puffy just like a pill you puff it up and then you lay on it and it gets squished again so I really should just replace it or even thought of right now cutting it in half the cushiony part because there's like an indent from where the line's been hitting over the years that if I flip it over it's gonna be a different spot that's gonna be more cushiony and the even the glue might give it a little bit of <laughs> bounce to it so um, we'll see there but the last thing we want to do is just kind of go through and just make sure the instrument's in key while I'm under here. So the easiest way that I found to tune it is either through just using an app and you just go each key to a tuning app until you get it right. Or you can also plug in a logic and that might be the easiest for this situation because I'm using my phone to record. So I got logic pulled up now. Now what I have to do is just check each key. And they're all pretty good. It doesn't seem to go out of tune that often. The pitch is determined by, like I said, those little squiggly things. So we're gonna move it up or down until it affects the pitch how we'd like it to. Totally forgot about these guys and how much they adjust the pitch and the overall tone of the instrument. The problem is they're so flat, it's nearly impossible to loosen them. So I love any recommendations of tools you guys might have used or could use. I tried the needle nose pliers, they weren't really working at all. Couldn't get a good enough grip on it. But that being said, I'm gonna call it a day. The B is a lot more barky better like the other one it's still hitting the one part of it's because i couldn't adjust the thing i just mentioned the c's not stuck anymore you can see it still doesn't like go right away but it's better um those other notes are fixed now so you know i'm gonna call it a day thanks so much for watching i hope you learned something or at least got to see inside of a really cool instrument you don't get to see inside of too often i'm on a mission to post a new video every single day for a year about three weeks into it and i was just playing my piano this morning realized it was out of tune and so i thought that would be a good idea to make a video out of. So if you have any suggestions for other content, I'd love to hear them. Um, again, more covers, more beats coming. Just finishing up some original songs, sent one off the other day to some people on Fiverr to see who can mix and master it the best. Really excited to see how that goes. So I'm going to be making a video about that and hopefully give you some recommendations of guys you can use yourself on Fiverr. 
And yeah, really excited for the future. So again, any comments, any suggestions, anything you have, I'm more than happy to make content about it. Thank you.